Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So I'm standing in front of our 1973 Chevy uh, Chevy Custom Deluxe. Um, it's C20. Now C equals two wheel drive, K equals four wheel drive, so this is only a two wheel drive. So someday, way in the future, I'd like to restore this thing. But like I said, it's going to be way in the future. I have to get a four wheel drive truck first. So anyways, I'm going to show you today what a day is like in in farm life, at least in ours. Okay, so okay, so today I'll be mowing. I have this 2014 Craftsman T100 that we use to mow the fields. Because if we don't mow our fields, it becomes a fire hazard in the summer. So, and if we go too long, it also clogs this thing up. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start this thing up, keep the ignition. Hasn't been, I'm not sure if it's been started yet this morning, but we're gonna check some things. We have plenty of fuel. Not sure how well you can see that. I want to check the oil, so I'm going to show you how to do that, like the redneck way. So, when you pull it out and it's been running, it can be pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, I just use grass to do it, it's funny. So, take it out again. We have plenty of oil. Well, yeah, we have plenty. And here we go. So as you can see, um, sometimes the mower dies because the how do I put this? So the grass is so tall. So basically, you saw how the mower died. That was because the grass was really tall. Now I had it on the highest setting, like the deck was high up as it could go, and I also had it in first gear, which is also the slowest it will go. Now when I was actually mowing, I had it going between first, second, and third gear. Um, oh, peacock waving its feathers. Anyways, so after I finished that, I usually spray down all the machinery, like, we weren't completely done, we might be completely done, I'm not sure, but I, so I did a time lapse on cleaning all of our machines, our wagon, our weed whacker, our mower, mowers, I should say, yeah, so as you can see, it takes a lot of work because I'm spraying under the deck, so um, I'll show you this, yeah, um, my, my dad's lifelong best friend, um, he's been, he's been a friend with him since my dad was eight. Now, they're both like 45 years old. Yeah, 45. So, uh, my birthday was like a week ago. Let's see, today, yeah, a week and a day ago. So, they got me this. They got me a Harbor Freight tool set. And it's not a cheap one either. It's pretty nice. 130 piece. So, this is my first tool set ever. 
So no more borrowing my dad's tools when I need to work on my car or whatever. And the thing I like about this is uh, it has its slotted tools. So just like slots for everything makes it nice and neat. So I was really grateful about that. They also got my brother some things. Like a month ago, my brother Bern got a drone. He's from the first vlog I ever did. Oh, and there it goes. The so another thing is what we do here for spring, for our spring trip is we take these uh, sandbags that we use to use a sandbag our house to prevent flooding of our house is we use the sandbags to level our pool area put down new sand each year because um, all gets broken down it washes out when we drain our pool so here we go okay so you can see that uh, I've gotten rid of most of these sandbags mostly dumped in our pool area here so as a reminder of uh, these sandbags over here I'm just going to throw them over here for now but they're going to be dumped in the driveway but I need these out of the way because if you come and look over here the dirt has broken down over the last uh, 37 years we owned the house, so you can now see the foundation, which is not good. Which, um, that's part of the reason our house flooded so much last year. Causing us to have to remodel our house. 14,000 bucks in damage. So, let's get to work. Okay, so a little status update. Uh, I'll make it a little terrarium for our the toad that we just caught. And look, I sliced my freaking finger. It hurts like heck. Ooh, yes, that looks pain. That's painful. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do a little first aid, and then get back to work. Cut. <laughs> I said cut. Okay, so now I'm uh, gonna wrap my finger up. So let's get rid of this. This thing washed up. so stupid. I was uh, cutting, ouch. I was cutting the lid so we could get some air vents for the front, for our toad that we just barely caught. Ouch. And then life happened. Um, I put my finger right on a knife because I was trying to hold a little vent so I could do, double cut it. So we have a maximum breathing. And then I cut my finger. So I got my sterile pads. Um, I'm tracking what it. And it needs strip. I can just wear my help. I'm gonna take my boots off. but every show I seem to see they never catch the good parts like Roadkill episode 17 I think when they were road tripping the, grim the gremlin and the Prius um, they popped a tire and they wrecked it guess what none of their cameras were on and then look what happens today um, I sliced my finger and then Streets Pete 717 something happened to them I didn't catch them on camera I only made it one thing when they caught something on camera, and that was on Jimmo's channel, and he bought a motorcycle. Because he dumped his bike when he first drove it. Do you have any trip lines have I had around here now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do.
Well, this is, I've already cleaned it, so maybe we can just wrap it up. Remember, you want to clean your finger before you wrap it up. Maybe I can get the be the cameraman to help me. Here. Thank you. Hold that. I probably don't need this much gauze, but what the heck. Okay. <sighs> Cut. Hey, Seth, you're in the vlog. What's up? Uh, not much. What about you? I'm going to be a little late today. Um, I have some work to do out here. Um, I have to fix the foundation of our house, like fill it up with dirt, so... I'd say maybe I'll be out there in maybe an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do my best to get out there today and then we'll hang out. And then you guys can drive me back. So, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll see you soon, okay? Um, by the way, how muddy is it out there? It's kind of muddy. Yeah, it rained a little last night. <laughs> So, we'll just see if we can do that episode. If not, we can wait till June or whatever. June yeah. or July. Okay, well, see you later, man. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, so, um, as you can see, the vlog, it's like, I started filming on Thursday, like, the day after I went to my buddy's house. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I skipped Sunday. We took a day off on that, and then today's Monday. So today I was supposed to go to my buddy's house, but I'm going to try my best to get all my work done so I can go. Um, so in the meantime, I know it was all jumbled up, but there's a lot of work to do on a farm, especially when your house is 37 years old. Now, that may not sound like much to you for those who live in the city, but a house on a farm, it gets it's really old. So, it's really old, so... It takes a lot to keep it going, so things because things break all the time. Like when we got here, our water heater broke, our something went wrong with the circuitry in our pump house out there, and then yeah. So I have one more video right after this. It's quite funny. So I was up in the attic working, and then, yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, please subscribe and have a nice day. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. They don't always respond to my voice, but listen to this. They respond to anything but that pretty much. They respond to slamming doors. I'll show you again. <laughs> but there you go.